All right, so hey guys, what's going on? It's Jordan here, and today I'm gonna teach you guys a pretty cool trick in Sony Vegas. So this tutorial is gonna allow you to export Sony Vegas uh, files to Adobe Premiere or any other editing software that's supported. So the reason that one might wanna do this is if you feel very confident editing in Sony Vegas, but you like the render times in Premiere Pro, sort of like how I do, or most of the time like I do, um, I feel like editing audio and stuff is a lot easier in Vegas than Premiere. So usually when I have uh, projects where I have to edit in a bunch of audio tracks and different clips, I'll use Vegas for that and then export it to Premiere Pro. So basically what we're going to do is I have a little clip here. I'm going to show you guys. So on the right here, it's only on preview half so it's not going to look the best. So I have a little bit of some editing going on here. Mostly just transitions, some simple stuff, um, because some stuff doesn't want to carry over to Premiere. But something interesting that I found is that when you color correct in Vegas, it actually does carry over to Premiere Pro. And as you can see there in the end, I slowed it down to kind of uh, see if it would actually keep that in Premiere, and then faded it out. So after you have your clips together in Vegas, and they're edited how you want them, what you can do is go to File and then go to export and sometimes you can do uh, an export as a premiere slash after effects file or sometimes you might have to export it as a final Cut pro 7 file so sometimes this works very well and sometimes this works because sometimes you'll have compatibility issues so we're going to go ahead and try premiere slash after effects i suggest making a separate folder each time you do this because it's going to put all of your video files and stuff into a new folder. So you don't want to have that all over your desktop and stuff if you have like multiple um, media files here. So we're going to go ahead and export this. And depending on how many uh, projects and stuff you have going on here, this might take a little bit of a while. Um, I've had it go up to two minutes before, but I had a lot of stuff going on. So you can close. And either exit Sony Vegas or just minimize it like I did. So then what you're going to want to do is go into Premiere Pro. So I'm using a Premiere Pro CC 17. This should work with some of the older ones. You might have compatibility issues, but if you have the chance to get Premiere Pro CC 17, I would definitely get it because it'll minimize your chance of having issues. So you can either start a new project and open it through file or same thing here or you can just go to open project which is what i'm going to do so find the folder that you saved and it should be under there most of the time you'll have something here they'll say the project was saved from a previous version of Premiere pro and needs to be converted and always just hit ok so then it should finally export your file into here and we're going to see if it'll actually create our timeline here so just give it a second and if it doesn't, then there's a pretty simple fix for this either way. But just give it some time to kind of uh, load up a little bit and kind of have your timeline and stuff set up. Sometimes this will take a little bit longer than usual. And it, it looks like it has pretty much everything here. But our timeline's not loading up, and that's sometimes an issue. Sometimes you can fix this by putting stuff into your source panel here and trying to drag down kind of taking a little bit of a while that's not even dragging with us for some reason so our timeline is not setting up correctly so sometimes you'll run into issues like this and this is why I said sometimes you'll have to save it as a final cut file because as you can see here our timeline is pretty much empty so what you're going to want to do is just go to a new project and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and start a new project so then you need to go back over to Vegas and export this as a Final Cut Pro 7 file. So since I'm using this folder right here, I'm going to go ahead and pretty much delete all that. It's going to keep that in there for some reason. I don't know. So then you're going to want to export it as a Final Cut Pro 7 file. Hit OK. And then you're going to want to go back into Premiere and open up. A project and it should be in this file right here so my project.xml 
and you'll have this pop up all the time usually it doesn't mean anything it should still work so here we go as you can see it actually did export our timeline correctly this time so sometimes it's kind of finicky and they want you to do it through um, Final Cut other than you know something else so as you can see here we're gonna watch this part and it does transition exactly how we had it in Vegas so it's kind of like the files are overlapping each other to kind of uh, make that easy and as you can see here everything's working let's see if the slowdown works at the end and the slowdown does work so that's pretty much what we edited in Vegas into Premiere Pro with no issues other than we had to export it as an XML file. Sometimes you'll have that, so just try both of those before you totally quit this method. So this is extremely useful for someone that's very good at editing in Vegas, but when they get to Premiere, they're not that good, but they like all of the uh, features of Premiere, like your render times are super fast in Premiere. Con like considering Sony Vegas how long it takes so we're gonna go ahead and use my regular settings I usually use and I'm gonna show you how long it takes to render out this video compared to what it would in Vegas so this is usually the settings I use and I'm not gonna export the audio so as you can see here it's a 23 second clip if we go to export it Let's go ahead and export it to our desktop. And as you can see there, it doesn't take long at all. Like maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds at the most here. It's not going to take too long. So as you can see there, it's pretty much edited very, very quickly. So then we're going to move over to Vegas after this is done. And this would probably actually render faster if I didn't have Vegas open at the same time as Google Chrome because that's all pulling RAM and stuff away from this program. So we're just going to go ahead and let that do its course there. And so now that is rendered out. So that took like what, maybe 30, 40 seconds. You go into Vegas and the same clip. So we're going to render this. Um, we're going to go ahead and render it as a 1080p file on the high preset at 60 fps and we're gonna use the we're not gonna use the deep blocking filter usually I use that but I don't because it sometimes adds in some time we use CUDA not gonna include audio save this to best so then we're gonna go ahead and render this desktop and this is gonna be Vegas test and we're gonna go ahead and start to render this out and as you can see, it's taken way longer for this file to actually render in Vegas overall. So that's why a lot of people like Adobe Premiere because especially if you have a large like video file and stuff, Vegas is going to take a lot longer to render than Premiere. So here you get the best of both worlds. You get the simplicity of Sony Vegas and the render times of Premiere Pro. And it's pretty much going to be the same type of video. So here's our sequence one, as you can see, everything looks very crisp. Pretty much no issues. We have all of our transitions here. So this is the finished product. So this is very, very useful, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.